Fox News, 22nd of September 2022, drug traffickers in China have no motivation to cease causing the U.S. fentanyl epidemic, according to the Chinese authorities. Chinese officials seek to promote the drug trade in the United States as a component of their fifth generation of warfare. Large Chinese drug networks are contributing to the U.S. fentanyl epidemic, which Beijing has a strong interest in addressing, given the state of its relations with the United States. According to Craig Singleton, a senior scholar at the Nonpartisan Foundation for Defense of Democracies, China has been the leading supplier of fentanyl flooding the illicit drug market in America since roughly 2013. The U.S. government agrees with Singleton's assessment of the problem, according to a Drug Enforcement Administration report from 2020, China is the primary source of fentanyl and drugs related to it that are trafficked to the country, as well as the largest source of trafficking via international mail and express consignment. Fentanyl seizures from China frequently weigh less than 1 kilogram yet have concentrations of pure fentanyl that are more than 90%. Chinese drug cartels have used the Internet to market fentanyl and the chemicals necessary to create it, a 2020 NPR investigation claims, frequently selling and shipping the drugs directly to American buyers, taking in supplies from China before smuggling the drugs across the border into the United States, Mexican drug cartels have also been significant users of the Chinese drug trade. After years of pressure, the Chinese government finally took action in 2019 by tightening regulations on the nation's fentanyl production. As part of a settlement reached with the Trump administration, the Chinese government agreed to look into known fentanyl production sites, implement rigorous controls over the drug's internet marketing, and take more drastic steps to enforce drug shipping laws. The DEA anticipated that China would soon lose its position as the top narcotics supplier to the U.S. after the curbs led to a modest decrease in the country's illicit fentanyl trade. However, Chinese solid drug cartels with communist handlers have developed innovative ways to get around the restrictions, disguising their operations with intricate networks in remote interior cities and creating new shipping techniques designed to evade law enforcement detection. By creating and distributing the ingredients necessary to develop fentanyl, Chinese drug networks have also managed to get under the laws, making enforcement more challenging. Senator Marshall chastises the CDC for failing to declare an emergency about fentanyl and asks, what are we doing? Michael Lowe Muller, an analyst with the Center for Advanced Defense Studies, told NPR that a year after the restrictions were implemented that many Chinese networks involved in the production and marketing of fentanyl quickly adjusted to increased legal constraints by changing their methods to taking advantage of gaps in chemical restrictions and hide their activities. In particular, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's travel to Taiwan infuriated the Chinese government which will resume its fight on the United States drug trade, threatening to undermine much of the progress made since 2019. According to Singleton, the Chinese government stopped working with Washington on matters relating to transnational crime and illegal drugs this summer when U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan. A worsening of the U.S. drug pandemic and related trafficking operations could result from Beijing's unwillingness to execute its 2019 fentanyl rules if relations between the two countries sour as projected. Given that the opioid issue is mainly a problem in the United States and not China, Singleton suggested that the Chinese government is unlikely to be motivated to resume tight enforcement. Due to this reality, China may soon see an upsurge in human trafficking. According to Singleton, it appears likely that there will be an increase in the amount of illegal Chinese drug and people trafficking entering the country in the future, further taxing the resources of Customs and Border Patrol. Singleton stressed the necessity of a review of the implications of China's decision to discontinue cooperating with the United States.
According to Singleton, there is an urgent need for an unclassified evaluation of the possible effects of China's decision to stop cooperation on transnational crime and fentanyl-related concerns, ideally, one done by the Department of Homeland Security. More substantial congressional supervision is also required in this area, particularly by the committees responsible for homeland security-related issues and Chinese aggression against the United States.